I think it's fairly evident to even the most casual of viewer that I love Elite Dangerous but just like any other game in the history of everything there's some little foibles that could use working out, some irritations that could make the life of every Elite Dangerous player just a little bit smoother. I'm not talking about bugs. Sure Elite is a beauty but of course it's got some bugs and I don't mean features that I wish it had that it doesn't have. I want space legs and I want atmospheric landings but that's not what this is about. What I'm talking about are those little quality of life improvements that should be, in theory at least, reasonably easy to iron out but would make a world of difference to the player base in their everyday elite lives. This is by no means an exhaustive list and it's by no means my entire list. I didn't want to make a 5 hour video but this is just the stuff that really floated to the top when I started thinking about the subject. So number 1. The docking computer can't be easily toggled with a key press. I don't always use a docking computer but I generally have one fitted where I have room for it. Sometimes I don't want to give the game my full attention. There might be someone trying to talk to me or a knock at the door or some tea that wants drinking or a movie on screen number 2 that is getting to that really good bit where the guy does the thing and the whatnot explodes and I might want to watch that instead. Currently I have to run with the module deactivated and in order to switch it on I need to look at the right hand panel, navigate to the modules tab and then scroll all the way to the bottom and then boot the module up, wait for it to start and then it takes over. Why can't I just flick a switch on my dashboard and have the docking computer take over then? Surely it's literally just a fairly simple key binding but it would be such a lovely addition when I can't be by when I mean I'm really busy with the thing or whatever and I could just flick on the auto dock and then go feed the cat. Number 2. I want to select the target of my target. In just about every space sim I've ever played and I've played a lot of space sims you can target a ship and then press a key to target the target of that ship. Except Elite Dangerous. Sure in a wing I can select a wingman's target, that's great and super useful and we use it all the time here. It's particularly useful when focusing fire in a combat zone but a wing is only 4 people and oftentimes there are multiple wings in a combat zone working together. Allowing me to target a friendly player or indeed an NPC and then target their target would be so empowering and so flooping useful. In the game currently it's the year 3306. In order to pick up a friendly's target I have to target the friendly and then look out the window and see if I can see where the outgoing gunfire is hitting and then try and swing around, point my nose at that ship and target it. Often no mean feat in an ensuing furball. The functionality clearly already exists in the game, just extend it beyond a wing. Number 3. I want to cancel a launch request. I'm going to guess that at the very least 90% of the people watching this video have done this in the game. You're all set up, ready to head out of the station, you know where you're going, you know what you're doing, you're suited and booted and good to go. You hit launch, the tower clears you for departure and the lift mechanism starts turning your ship around and sliding you towards the now open hangar bay. But wait! You forgot limpets. You always forget the limpets. There's no cancel option, there's literally no way in the ship to dial up the tower and abort a takeoff. You're fully committed. The only way to abort the takeoff is to exit the game to the menu and then load up and come back in again. Even better if you're in a wing you'll need to form up the wing again because exiting the game will have dumped you out of that. All because you forgot the limpets. Again. Number 4. Did I mention limpets? Picture this. You've been out in your mining cutter. You've still got 50 limpets in the hold but you're done for the day and you want to jump into your single seat no cargo bubble bus hauler to jump quickly back to your home port and load up into your favourite combat corvette and wail on a has res with your squad mates for an hour or two. Your heart full of joy, you land your mighty vessel, the docking clamps engage and you navigate to the shipyard, open up your stored ships Select the USS bubble bus and oh my god you've still got 50 limpets in the hold and the hauler has no cargo space. You can't leave the limpets where they are and the option to get rid of the limpets is, wait for it, exit the shipyard, go back to station services, open advanced maintenance, navigate to the restock menu, scroll down to the limpets, select limpets, hold the cursor key down to unload each limpet one at a time, hit return, exit the advanced maintenance section, navigate back up to the shipyard, reselect your trusty hauler and oh it's too late it took so long to simply get rid of 50 limpets it's now Monday morning 
and you need to go to work. It took 3 days and 75 menus to get rid of those limpets when a simple dump your cargo button when you tried to swap ships would have done the job. Number 5. The bookmarks on the galactic map. I've been playing some 6 years or so. I've accrued a fair few bookmarks in that time. I can't organise my bookmarks. I can't put those bookmarks in folders. It's just a list. A great big long huge list. I can't organise them. People have been organising bookmarks into folders, sorting by topic or frequency of use etc since the earliest days of mankind's intellectual awakening. There are cave paintings in Peru that depict early prehistoric hominids sorting their bookmarks by preference and function. Yet in the far flung reaches of the galaxy in the year 3306 it appears to be a lost skill. Somewhere along the way we dropped that feature from our massive pantheon of skills in some freakish accident of happenstance and never got round to putting it back in again. The stuff that I've mentioned here shouldn't require huge fixes or significant coding challenges. There are of course other irritations like the disparate way multi crew and wings have been implemented and how the two don't work together as a result. That's an entirely bigger proposition to fix. As I mentioned at the start these are just small changes that should improve your general elite dangerous wellbeing overall for a minimum of effort low input, high reward type stuff. But what are your most desired quality of life improvements? Do you think there's a chance we'll see any of mine or any of yours added in the new era update at the end of the year? Sound off in the comments. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>